City Councilman calls it a human tragedy that's making people in San Antonio increasingly anxious. We're talking about homelessness. Tonight, one resident describes to KSAT investigates how this issue is having a daily impact on his life. Inches from my bedroom window. I saw it. You'll have to excuse the enthusiasm of Deco District resident Ruben Garcia. For years, he's lived on Rosewood Avenue, and for years, the constant presence of a homeless encampment in the alley right behind his house has frayed his nerves. I mean, I can literally hear him talking about cocaine and weed, you know, and how much you want and all this stuff. I can, I can hear it right through my, my wall. And fights are happening, loud. 911 call fights. Sure enough, San Antonio police have been to Garcia's address 19 times since March of 2021 for disturbances, thefts, and shots fired. Staff from City Council District 1 and the City's Department of Human Services have also visited the property, yet the predicament persists. But this complex phenomenon now extends well beyond downtown and the surrounding neighborhoods. How many of you are crime victims? A packed house gathered earlier this spring in District 8 for a town hall as Councilman Manny Pelias led what he called a difficult conversation with Northside residents. We've got a crisis on our hands that needs to be spoken about in the most honest, raw terms. Pelias says post-COVID inflation has affected housing costs and that officials must address the changing profile of the city's homeless population which includes more and more families. This wall has to go. Garcia believes the starting point in his neighborhood would be to tear down this high wall, opening up a space that he says is hidden to almost everyone except him. I'm asking for your help, you know, make it a better neighborhood. And uh, it has been getting better, but still this alleyway needs to go. For Case that Investigates, I'm Dylan Collier. In lieu of giving money to people directly who live on the streets, people who want to give to organizations that help people experiencing homelessness, they can do so by texting SA Gives, all one word, to 41444. By the way, you can also find a link to that campaign on our website, ksat.com. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.